going on, guys? The Visible Team standing right here with the Salma as well. He's in the background. What's going on, y'all? All right. Bring you guys a Spike Brothers deck profile. So we're just going to run through it, uh, show you guys what I'm working with. So uh, I'm playing the new starter, as you guys can see. Playing the new starter from set 13. I finally changed out Mecha Trainer. Um, her ability is really just really good compared to uh, Mecha Trainer at this point. So she has a charge ability. Um, when she becomes charging, all of my units get 2k. And when she returns to the deck, uh, I can counter charge one. So really good. Uh, just playing her over Mecha Trainer. Now granted, Mecha Trainer does help with the uh, GB8 combo, but just decided to go with the new starter. Uh, on the triggers, triggers using course the four heal, but I'm being a little cheeky with the heals triggers, so I'm using two of the fighter collection one and two of the new one that counter charges. Um, I've been doing this lineup for a lot of my decks because I still enjoyed the fighter's collection heal trigger. So the skills that came with it. So this one, when I G-Garb with the Linus heal trigger, it goes in the soul. So that was the soul. And this one, if I G-Garb with anything, and there's another heal trigger in drop zone, bind both uh, counter charge or, or soul charge. So pretty good. Uh, helps out with the counter charge, even though it's not really an issue with that starter. But, you know. Um, playing a little wonky with this trigger lineup. So I'm playing four crit. Of the Rising Nova Crypt, putting a solo plus five draw. And then for the last of the remaining of the triggers, I'm playing a total of eight draw. So in this deck, at least from what I've seen around the internet and what I've seen people play and then my own test play, uh, you don't really care for crits as much. Your pressure comes from your units powering up and then you having cards in hand. So mainly you want to have cards in hand. So the draw triggers help with that. And then I also play drawing units as well. On the grade ones, grade ones, I'm playing. We're gonna start with the new and get to the old. So we're playing fake bomber. Probably gonna get flagged for that. Uh, of course, this video will. <laughs> uh, charge unit on boost. I have the option to. Well, when it's charging, I get plus five, and it gets the red text of. Uh, when it's boosting, I can soul blast two cards, call a unit from my hand, and counter charge. So it helps out with the counter counter blast management. And it's a really good booster as well. So, really good. I brought back Full Speed Spectre. He was a card from set 9. I took him out a long time ago. Basically, his another charge unit um, on placement. Uh, when he becomes charging, not on placement. When he becomes charging, CB1, it gets 4K and it can attack from the back row. So, I took it out a long time ago. But now I brought it back in because of that. Just the fact that I can attack from the back row and it helps out during the uh, dirty pick pick a row um, combo, so helps out during that. I drop Frog Raider down to two, um, really good Frog Raider, but uh, just it's it's coming to the point where he's not useless. He's not he's not, he's got a ton of use. It's just I have other great ones to play, so drop him down to two. Um, playing three Stride Fodder. Strive Fighter got dropped down to three because we have new Rising Nova, so drop down to three. And then last, I'm playing. Everybody's playing the Charge PG. I'm I'm still sticking with this one, Counter Charge one. So you know, sticking with the Counter Charge PG. Playing four of it. On the Grade Twos again with the new to the old. Uh, playing this new Grade Two called Prompt Cheetah. So uh, another Charge unit. Basically, his skill is um, when it attacks, it gets plus five if it's charging. And then you can pay the cost. I've been playing this card wrong since day one. But, um, but uh, it, it, the plus five is when it's charging and attacks. And then the soul blast only happens if you want to. And you pay the cost if you want to bind it and call it back to open rare garden circle as a rest. So that helps for Rising Nova. It has synergy. So if you want some hand power, you can call him back as a rest and then pop in the soul with uh, new Rising Nova. We'll get to them when we get them. When we can. Uh, we have Mayhem Tiger. Can't play a deck without Mayhem Tiger. He's our uh, Spike Brother title salt at this point. Um, Soul Blast, anytime a card goes into the Guardian Circle on my opponent's Guardian step, I can pop it unless it's Perfect Guard or G Guard. So, really good. Really good. Um, I brought back, funny fact, I brought back Lethal Forward. So, one of the things I wanted to do, and I'm still playing around with the numbers, 
uh, I really enjoy the fact of uh, pressure. So since I'm playing less crits, my opponent won't be at that much damage, and they'll be more inclined to take damage. So lethal forward skill is um, when it's charging, it's plus two. And if I have a char uh, rising vanguard, which I always will, um, and on hit, I can call a unit from deck that is not a lethal forward, but it has to get the hit. A really good card. Um, brought it back again for the pressure. And again, I don't play that many crits, so uh, there's a chance of a skill getting off. Um, and then for the last grade 2, which I'm deciding to bump up, I want to bump it up to 2-3, to but uh, Kobo Impulse came out way when Rising Nova came out. On hit, retire um, a card on my opponent's field and draw a card. So, really good. Again with the pressure. Um, on the grade 3s. Starting with the new grade 3, I see a lot of people playing 3 of this. I am going full balls to the wall. Uh, new Rising Nova at 4. So he is not a break stride. He does not have an on stride ability. That does not deter me from playing him though. So his on placement skill, first and foremost he has charge. His on placement skill on Vanguard, Vanguard, CB1, choose a card from hand, put in soul. Call a unit from deck that is a grade 2 or less charge, charge card. And if this unit itself is charging, it gets plus three. So I use that during um, various plays. It has its uses. Um, it's not always used because, again, it's a card from hand. But draw trees help, help out with that. And then the second ability, which really helps out with the deck. Um, during each end phase, so this is my opponent's and my own end phase, if I'm at GB2 and I have two or less rear guards, I can choose a rear guard, put in soul, and draw. So that, that really does help out with hand power really does um we do have a match of spike brothers going up soon so hopefully you check that out or it's probably out if it is go check it out um last we're playing four new right uh, old rising nova so um gb2 is when it swings choose a car put a card in your hand from soul call something no power whatsoever with that gb2 skill and then his second ability is um, on stride, your G unit gets the ability when it attacks, uh, counter blast one, put a card in soul, call a unit and gets plus five. So yeah, you, I really, it really depends on the game if I want to be on old rising nova or new rising nova. So it really depends on the game. But in my opinion, I prefer to be on new rising nova rather than old. So on to G unit, uh, G G zone. Uh, we're playing four of this new stride from G set thirteen. Uh, of the of all the strides that got abilities, you would think that Spike Brothers would have gotten a card to fight lock. That was clearly not the case. Um, we uh, his ability is uh, when he attacks, I can counter blast one, flip up a copy of him, choose any number of my rear guards and bind them face up. If I bound three three or more, I can draw a card, and then for each card face up in G zone, not not including himself, so that can be any card. I can call two. So if I have two cards, I call four. If I have one card, I call two. And like that. Like that. Um, helps out with charge. Really good. Um, had to call it to open rear guard, but that's not a problem. And uh, really, uh, really good first turn stride in my opinion. So I've been playing that. Honestly, I only go into it once. I will say that, but nowadays I only go into it once. Um, Rising Supernova. Interesting card. I dropped it down from four to three. Uh, for people who saw my previous deck profile, dropped it down from four to three. Honestly, I just never went into it a second time. Honestly, so his ability on attack, flip up a copy of himself, charge for every face up copy of him in G zone. So you would have a total of two if two. If you would have two charge units if uh, two were face up in G zone, and this charges non charge units. So really good. Uh, but again, I dropped him down because I really don't go into him. Another stride you'll never see me go into is a Miracle Ace. Miracle Ace is played at two. It's one of those cards that you just like, eh, I don't want to get rid of it, but eh, it's still going to stay there. So, card that came out back in the original set, uh, when Spike Brothers got their return set. Uh, one Dirty Piccaro, gotta play one. It's just, it's just necessary, just necessary. Um, of course, Hellheart 8 has to be in the deck as well. With the G-Guard, um, the new flipping G-Guard and the way you draw, it's kind of, it's kind of one of those things that's going to happen no matter what. Um, on the G-Guards, 
uh, starting with the new G guard. I love this G guard, so I'm playing it too. Uh, when it goes to the guardian circle, I can choose three cards with different grades from my drop zone. Put them on the bottom of the deck. If I put back three cards, this card gets 10,000 10, 10, shield. So really good. Um, just helps to refill the deck if I ran out of cards or soul blasted cards. Playing two of the unflipping G guard. So um, gets power for every two rear, open rear guard circles. Helps out with GB8. And then last but not least, I'm playing one uh, juggernaut maximum maximum. So that's the deck. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Definitely did run through it. So you guys let me know your opinions on the deck. Uh, tell me what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one.